Hello and welcome to Moments of Truth on Labour Social. I'm Graham Hughes. Yesterday, the husband of disgraced Tory peer, Michelle Moan, issued a statement in which he confirmed that the couple were being investigated by the UK's National Crime Agency for their part in the biggest heist in British history. The £21 billion lost in Covid fraud by this unspeakably corrupt and evil Tory government. But it's all a stitch-up, apparently. Barrowman claims that they've been hung out to dry. Like, why aren't the government attempting to claw back the other £20.9 billion, eh? Barrowman accused the Tories, of which his wife is one, of using the national crime agencies to threaten criminal proceedings in order to force the couple to reach a settlement in relation to the untold millions that they nicked from the taxpayer. On top of that, PPE MedPro, the consortium led by Barrowman, established in the May of 2020 in order to do nothing but profiteer from the deadly pandemic that was killing Brits in the tens of thousands, is being sued by the government for £122 million, plus costs for breach of contract. Barrowman claims that He and his family have been treated as a punch bag by the media for the past three years, which is interesting considering how the media treat the most most famous people on a daily basis, even ones that haven't defrauded the taxpayer out of over £100 million. And his tale of woe doesn't end there. Apparently, he has received a constant torrent of online abuse as a result of his criminal enterprises. I've got a solution for that, Dougie. Come back to the UK, turn yourself over to the police and spend the rest of your life in the in a jail cell. You'll never have to check your Facebook ever again. Barrowman's wife, compulsive liar Michelle Moan, an unelected lawmaker for life, for no adequately explained reason, admitted last month that she'd been lying her plastic face off for the last few years, denying that she had any link to PPE MedPro and threatening legal action against anyone who said she did. But thanks to the sterling work of the Good Law Project, amongst others, the link between Moan and PPE MedPro became undeniable. But here's the thing. Her lies could have been refuted at any time by the Tory government. But they weren't. James, not so cleverly, was tackled on this matter earlier today in press interviews and tried to worm his way out of it by saying he could possibly comment on an ongoing investigation. Even though the question wasn't about the investigation per se, it was about why this corrupt Tory government chose not to set the record straight even after the VIP ring was known about. The real reason is probably because the Tories are all thieves and liars and want to get away with as much crime as possible before they're yeeted out of office later this year. And that moan and her limp dick of a husband are simply the tip of the iceberg. Barrowman went on to say that he understood why the British public feel angry but then proved that he absolutely didn't understand anything by stating that that anger should not be directed at him and his wife, the beneficiaries of over £60 million of taxpayers' money for supplying over £100 million of PPE that wasn't fit for purpose in the middle of a deadly pandemic. His excuse seems to be, but everyone else was doing it too, which, because Barrowman is a child, he thinks is a slam dunk of an argument. He claims that MedPro made a profit which was in line with the margins made by other providers of PPE. He honestly believes he's done nothing wrong. Everything was justified. Everyone is being simply beastly to him and his god-awful wife. If you find yourself somehow feeling any sympathy whatsoever for this whining scumbag, Here's something to mull over. If Barrowman's massive taxpayer-funded dividend was given to a normal person like you or I, we would have to pay around £24 million of it to the HMRC. But Barrowman funnels his tax affairs through the Isle of Man, so he paid next to nothing. He went on to say that his wife, Michelle Moan, had 25 years' experience of sourcing and manufacturing mass-produced goods. So what? She had no experience whatsoever. 
in, in dealing with medical goods, which m- might have come in handy in a situation where you're spending over £100 million of other people's money on hospital gowns, just in case, I don't know, they turn out to be absolutely unusable because you didn't know or bother to check that they needed to be double bagged. On top of that, there's no evidence she took part in the actual procurement process. All she seems to have done is to put in a word via the network of cronies, spivs and con artists that is the modern Tory party. Barrowman then went on to say, rather bizarrely, that it was simply unacceptable that the UK COVID inquiry was not scheduled to review pandemic PPE procurement programmes until 2025, as if that was going to somehow magically find Fred and Rose here completely innocent of all wrongdoing. He talked about how the Department of Health and Social Care brought this claim against MedPro at what he called a time of increased scrutiny of how the government overspent on PPE during the COVID pandemic. Sorry, increased security. Uh, Sorry, increased scrutiny. What? We might as well bang on. We might bang on about it on this channel, but it's not something that dominates the front pages of the gutter rags. They're too busy demonising trans people or freaking out about Meghan Markle's new hairdo or Gary Lineker tweeting about his love of, I don't know, Greg's vegan sausage rolls. Bowerman went on to call for the resignation of Sir Chris Wormald, the most senior servant in the DHSC, and then whined about his belief that Bowerman and Moan are being made examples of to distract attention from the government's, from government's incompetence. Yeah, because, you know, apart from all the other things that the government has been completely incompetent over, Brexit, HS2, immigration, infrastructure, inward investment, international trade, schools, utilities, the NHS, the environment, the economy, I could go on. This is the one that everyone is really focusing on right now. But the thing is that these outlandish protestations of innocence is something that we hear every day from the likes of Boris Johnson, Donald Trump, and the rest of them. This is the post-truth world in which we live. And in response, so many otherwise good people have completely given up on on employing their own critical faculties when presented with any new evidence for anything that in any way threatens their entrenched worldview. A worldview that was put together in their heads when they were six years old, which has never changed and can never be changed. But all in all, I don't think that Baroness Moan and her hideous husband have any idea of the additional damage they are doing to their reputation by the continuous whining. Let's face facts. They don't care about the crimes they committed. They don't think it's unfair that making a few phone calls earned them more than you will get in your working life. In fact, you will get working nine to five in your job for over a thousand years. All they care about is the fact that they got caught. That's what they think is unfair. Let me know what you think of all this in the comments below.